It's a simple way to connect, really. But for Ted Tingle, Ted, Travis, Big T, and Travis Grant, Little T, FaceTime is crucial. When everything hit, you know, we had to switch to a virtual platform, and that was FaceTime. They're a match with Big Brother Big Sisters of Southern Arizona. They used to meet in person to grow their connection. Go out, eat, and play games. But now it's all on the phone, which really hasn't been a bad thing for them. They can both be in their comfort zones. And what it did actually was provide an opportunity to be, you know, really, really vulnerable. Big Brothers Big Sisters is just one of many nonprofits to adjust the way they serve the community, not only with virtual platforms, but with finances. According to a survey by the Alliance of Arizona Nonprofits, 98% of organizations have been significantly impacted by COVID-19. Honestly, we're going to have a shortfall of about 174,000 this year. The same survey estimates statewide nonprofits have lost nearly $40 million. We will be very tight with our staff, which means we can't hire this year. They say they'll still be able to fund matches and make new ones, though, which is good news for Ted and Travis and many kids as that phone call can often be an important one. Without that funding, these things simply don't happen. Megan McNeil, KOLD News 13. And Travis and Ted have both decided the first thing they will do when everything opens back up is hit the arcades. We reached out to Ben's Bells as well, and they said they had to postpone their signature event, a celebration of kindness that usually brings in about $30,000 and are losing about $20,000 in revenue 